Welcome back. It's been a while since we've seen her in our chamber, hasn't it? Ally. Ally. Or betray. Or betray. Three, two, one. In that last moment, before the counter reached zero, I made my choice. Betray. For reasons we already know why. It's been a while, <laughs> after all. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Holy crap, round one? Results will be displayed in the warehouse. It's been a while since round one. Thank too. you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. That means we're going to have a lot of chat with, uh, you know who. <laughs> As Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Timuji was left behind, his footsteps slow, heavy, plod. What, hap what had happened to make him like that? We already know. Chose Betray, huh? That's messed up. What are you talking about? You said that you would have chosen Betray before. <laughs> what? You said I should. Hey, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Like, in another, in another uh, lifetime you did. I just asked you a question. What would happen to our BP if Ten Miyoji chose to betray us? It was leading question? <laughs> oh, I get it. I was wondering why you were so happy to let me choose after you lost in rock, paper, scissors. You were planning to use me as a scapegoat all along. Was I? That grin says everything. God damn it. You wow. Up. Wow, it's been a while since I heard that. Ziggy! Fido! Fido! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Anyway, we need to go have a look at the results first. Come on. Hey, wait! Crap. Good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Ambidex game! Part of me wonders if I really missed him or not. Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. What? Wow! This is what you call a different universe after all. Frickin' Ten Miyuji decided to go, uh, decided to go ally this time, even though he could've, even though he did betray last time. I am caught off guard. Seriously, caught off guard. Game? Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. I got betrayed? He chose... Ally? I'm just as surprised as you, Sig. Why? He chose betray last time. <laughs> what? He knows that much? Like, he... Like, oh... Uh -huh. Last time? Yeah! Last time! What are you talking about? This game's playing mind tricks on me. Oh. Uh... 
nothing. The truth was, I didn't know why I'd said that either. I know! The words had just appeared in my mouth before I knew I was saying them. Oh, you're the one who chose Betray. I should be asking you why. I told him you might choose Betray. Fi, you... I can't believe you. I'd never choose Betray. I trusted you two. And this is what I got. Ah, oh, I apologize. Fi, you don't need to apologize. I was the one who did it. I pushed the button. Oh, yeah, I guess you've got a point. <sighs> huh? Wait, what? It's Sigma's fault. God dang it! You want to blame someone, blame him. This game is messed up. What the hell, Fi? What, you gonna fight each other now? Yeah, really. It's like, quit trying to toss the freaking, uh... Toss a fight and make it look like... It's like, and he's just sitting there all confused as much as I am. I don't care which one of you pushed the button. I'm never trusting either of you again. This isn't over. Just you wait. You chose Betray at the end, too. Screw you. I tried to think of something to say, but before I could come up with the right words, he was gone. I spun around. Fi! What the fu- But she was gone, too. Gah! What the hell? How'd she just disappear like that? As I looked around the room for Fi, I noticed that Clover and Kay and Luna seemed to be having some kind of argument as well. I moved closer and did my best to listen to surreptitiously. Why did you do it? Surreptitiously. Sorry. I guess I wanted to get out of here as soon as possible, you know? I apologize, but I felt the same way. But... If we all choose Ally, then we could all escape together. It only takes three turns to get six points. That would be enough to get us out. Why? Well, of course we know that. But if we betray, then it's... faster. If your opponent chooses Ally, and you choose Betray, then you gain three points. Do that twice, and you get six points. You see? If you Ally, then you have to play the AB game three times. But if you Betray somebody, you only have to do it twice. Why are you acting like that's the right thing to do? I almost feel like you're blaming me or something. We aren't trying to blame you. But, I mean, if you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? Forget it. I understand now. It was silly of me to trust you guys. Luna walked off, with her head buried between her shoulders. Her back trembled as if, perhaps, she were crying. I couldn't see her face. Alice, Dio, and Quark, however, seemed to be having some issues of their own. Hmm. Fine. You just wait. Man, this is all your fault, Quark. My fault? Why are you blaming me? They exchanged dark looks, then stomped off in different directions. What do you want? Tell you what, you get on the... What the hell, my VP? Yes! <laughs> oh, whoops, 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 Let's, uh, let's, let's go back a little bit. Let's go back, uh, where's the memo? No. Log. Okay. Hmm. 
Sigma. What do you want? What do I want? What do you think I'm here to play, Doctor? Only if you... If, only if you're secretly Clover. Wait, what? Tell you what. How about I'll be the Doctor? Get on the exam table over. Exam table. And I'll cut you open with that scalpel over there. Man, are you still pissed? What the hell do you think? My PB's down to one thanks to you. Come on, I already told you I was sorry. Yes, and that makes it all better. Goddamn idiot. Well, then, how, what the heck am I supposed to do? Piss off. Seems like I'm already doing that. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just get out of my sight. Easy solution, then. Just close your eyes. Leave before I make yours black. The last guy I fought went home in an ambulance. Shouldn't have picked a fight with a paramedic, then. Shut up. Fine. Time. Pay attention. We've only got time to do this once. Okay. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. But we can only choose one. The options five layouts were the following. Option A were those. Which we already know. Option B. I think that's the only one we can take. Option C. There, with the fork. Yeah. Only B, I think, is what Three we can take. Minutes remain which is kind of bad. Which is kind of bad. Watch this. So, how are we going to do this? I won't go with Sigma. He betrayed me last time. What about Phi? You hit the button, right, Sigma? Well, yes, but... I don't want to go with Dio. Same reason. I can't trust that he won't betray me again. Uh, thanks a lot, Quark. You've single-handedly torpedoed my reputation. Well, that leaves us with option B. Yep. No. We can't do option B. Why not? Sorry, Luna. But I can't trust you, or Fi either. The way he is right now, someone's going to have to carry Quark. I just can't afford to give him to someone I don't trust. I thought you trusted Fi. Not enough for this. Then what do you intend to do? Quark shifted silently in Kay's arms. Quark is a solo, as are you, Tenmyoji. Solos can't pair with one another. You do remember that. Yeah, of course I do. I didn't say there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person. Who do you trust then? Clover. Clover? What? Me? Clover? Yeah, that's what I said. Why? I can't tell you. I just know that you'll keep him safe. Um, well, that's nice of you to say, but... My partner is Sigma. Are you sure you want me to take him? It's fine. Clover, you just vote by yourself. Make Sigma wait outside the AB room. <laughs> no. If Clover takes Quark, then we have to go with option C, right? That means I'll be stuck with Dio. 
There's no way in hell I'm going to let that happen. Who do you want to pair up with then? Isn't it obvious? Quark. Remember what the announcement said? Something about how the system will automatically vote ally for anyone who doesn't enter their own vote in time? If Quark doesn't wake up by then. No! See, this is exactly why I can't trust any of you. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. We don't have time to argue this. Let's take a vote. Those opposed to see? Alice and Dio's hands went up. What? Why don't you want C, Dio? Well, if she's got that much of a hate on for me, that hardly plays into my hands, does it? Hmm. Fine, whatever. I assume anyone who didn't raise their hand is alright with option C, then? No one objected. I kept my mouth shut, too. Just as Alice had said, there was an excellent chance that Quark would default to ally. If that happened, he'd make a great opponent. I'd choose ally, of course, but it would be good to not have to worry about him choosing betray. Alright. Six to two in favor. Wait. What about me? Stay here if you don't like it. I imagine your partner might have something to say about that, though. Kay handed Quark to me gently, then crossed his arms and turned to face Alice. <laughs> Her jaw clenched as she stared up at him, and I could see the gears turning inside her head. Fine. Ten <laughs> seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Hurry up, Clover. The door's closing. Right! Hey! Take care of Quark. Don't worry about it. I got a good grip on Quark, nodded to Tenmyoshi, and took off toward the door. Our feet slapped against the metal door as we ran. Our feet slapped against the metal door. Oh, floor. I was about to say door. It's 521. Give me a break. The empty voice of the announcer echoed in my ears. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. First time we're going in here. Huh. Is that this a dead end? Well, there are three doors here. But it looks like they're all locked. Hmm. What's this thing? It's got a lever on it. Can you pull the lever? Come on, my hands are kind of full right now. Oh, yeah. I can take Quark then. You really don't want to touch that thing, do you? Well, I mean, look at it. It looks suspicious. Like I'm gonna touch it and whoosh, a bunch of poison needles fly out of the wall. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe if I had like a piece of wood to move it with or something. A 20, uh, 39 and a half foot pole. I think you might be a little paranoid. Then you do it. Fine. I shifted Quark over to one shoulder and flipped the switch with my free hand. No needles. Everything's fine. For now, only one of the doors opened. Did you see any... Did you see the plaque on the door before it opened? I think it said something like, Treatment Center? Do you think that's some kind of medical thing? First an infirmary, now this. Why do I keep ending up in these places? Hi, I, I, that would be the good question for me, too. What's up with the doctor stuff? <laughs> I glanced over at Quark, asleep on my shoulder. Hey, you know what? 
we may have luck lucked out. Huh? What do you mean? Well, if this is where they treat people, maybe they've got something that can cure Quark. Oh. Yeah. Let's head on in, then. Okay. I think I'm gonna pause it. Pause it right here. Even though all I've recorded was a bunch of me doing random crap, maybe I'll just make this into a, a side video or something. Before. A before part. Yeah. What are those? Yeah, I'm gonna make that. That. So, with that, enjoy the video? I don't know. <laughs>